Welcome back, everybody, to Doki Doki Literature Club. All right. Um, looks like we're sharing a poem. It's been a while since I've picked this back up, so uh, I kind of forgot where we were. So let's go ahead and start with Sayori. Oh, I like this one, Royce. It has some nice feeling in it. Ah, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Hmm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. Hee <laughs> hee. That's not very help helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Uh, why don't you at least try giving me it some thought? Aw, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well... I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep... keep it in mind. Well, whatever. My character kind of seems like a dick right now. Anyway, let's see. Hmm... I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Royce. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I pop off my scalp like a lid of a cookie jar. I don't remember this being a poem. Is this a new poem? It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine. All rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and a bottle, all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends, each bottle a straight to make the amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle, bottle caps. It doesn't feel like elapsed, time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through 
my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend. Each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. In shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. I don't remember that being a poem. I think that was a new poem. Oh, skip button. Time for Nitsuki. Hmm. Well, I can't admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Eh? What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's going to just sound like you're forcing it, unless you're real, unless you, unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stops short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. Eh. You're not. You're not trying to impress Yuri, are you? What, what are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You know Yuri would love this kind of this agnesty. Angsty. Right? My lack of uneducation is showing. Just because she's a talent writer doesn't mean... I... I mean... Oof. Looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve. Though I thought I did... Is beyond... Though what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. I just thought that was the whole assignment. I thought that was the whole point. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Nasuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Yuri. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Royce. This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagine imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah, just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but 
seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share your poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tenants as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of my conscious, of the consciousness, or consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was a symptom. The bread, my hugging curiosity, the raccoon, an age? The moon insimits its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. I was so confident before, I was just like rolling with it. And then I, I'm having a hard time reading it now. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend, I slice the bread. Fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. On perhaps, I'm merely projecting my emotion into the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon was taking to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently. So my bread is always handy. Every time... I banish my cutting knife. The raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic pav pavlon conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Yuri has way too fancy hands, handwriting for me to know how to read her stuff. Skip. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing and people would make fun of me. Oops. Don't you have anything like that, Royce? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something. This is supposed to be Yuri talking. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I... I might be ranting a little bit now. Oh, skip. That wasn't much of a skip. You're good at a lot of things. Writing. Listening. There really aren't many people like you, Royce. I know. 
that's exaggerating a little bit. That is not what I said. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now, I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that. It's, it's nothing, really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Alright, time to show it to Monica. Hi again, Royce. Oh, skip. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm, I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a, pi a pen. I notice that too. Or when she's talking about literature. It's like a light turns on inside her. Hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much pers personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers. I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Eh? You completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one, anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. So it sounded more like a fictional one. It's just a hunch, but, well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway. Oh, I could be skipping. 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 Lots of skipping. Again, if you want to see all the things that they talked about, just go uh, back to the playlist. I have made a playlist specifically for Doki Doki Literature Club. And uh, if you want to see everything that they've talked about, because everything that I'm skipping is because we've already seen it, that's the only reason we we're able to skip. Um, it doesn't let me skip things we haven't already seen. So. If you want to see these things, just make sure you go back uh, and watch the previous clips that I have posted. Um, this is the question of uh, would I still walk with Sayori or would I walk with Yuri? Uh, I would walk home with Yuri because we're supposed to be doing everything for Yuri. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Haha, <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I'd just like to think about it. It's not long before you need me anymore, you know? Or you won't need me anymore. Need you? Sayori. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. 
sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm? If you say so. The conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Anyway, uh, I think that was a long enough episode. We're going to go ahead and stop right there. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you want to help the channel grow, go ahead and share it with your friends, family, on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social medias. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.